Map 2 Grow Presence 9 Ways to Not Catch Feelings Before starting the video, if you are new here, do subscribe. We've all been there before, caught up in the throes of a new relationship, only to be burned when it ends. It's never fun, and it always feels like we could have done something to prevent it. The good news is, there are ways to avoid getting too attached too soon. If you want to keep your heart safe and sound, check out these 9 tips. From setting boundaries to taking things slow, following these steps will help you protect yourself from getting hurt. Number 1. Put Yourself First you must always prioritize yourself, not just in these casual relationships. Nobody will care about your wants and needs if you don't. So, if you notice yourself prioritizing, you should stop. You are not expected to be available at all times, and you are not required to explain why you prefer to spend time alone and you are not in a relationship. Being adaptable and adapting your schedule to them while neglecting some of your obligations is also a no-no. Don't do things just to make them happy because you're putting yourself at risk of heartbreak, which we're attempting to avoid. Number 2. Be honest about what you want. When you know what you want, it becomes much easier to not catch feelings. Be honest with yourself about what you want out of the relationship. If you just want to hook up, then make sure that's clear from the beginning. On the other hand, if you're looking for something more serious, don't lead anyone on. Be clear about your intentions from the start and you'll be less likely to develop feelings for someone who isn't on the same page as you. Number 3. Stay off each other's social media If you're trying to not catch feelings, it's important that you stay off of each other's social media. This means no stalking each other's profiles, no liking or commenting on each other's posts, and definitely no sending direct messages. When you're constantly seeing what the other person is up to, it's easy to start developing feelings for them. So, it's best to just stay away from their social media altogether. If you need to, you can even block them or unfollow them so you're not tempted to look. Number 4. Minimize calls and texts When you are first dating someone, it is normal to want to talk to them all the time. However, if you find yourself constantly texting or calling your new partner, it may be a sign that you are getting too attached. If you want to avoid catching feelings, try to minimize the amount of time you spend talking to your new partner. Instead, focus on other things in your life, such as your friends, hobbies, or work. This way, you won't be as invested in the relationship and will be less likely to catch feelings. Number 5. Limit Time Together If you want to keep your feelings in check, it's important to not see the person more than a couple times a month. This way, you won't have time to develop strong feelings for them. Instead, you'll only get to enjoy their company every now and then, which is perfect for keeping things light and fun. Number 6. Prioritize your other plans There's no denying that catching feelings can be a total drag. But, if you're determined to steer clear of them, there are some things you can do to increase your chances of success. One of the best ways to avoid catching feelings is to keep your options open and maintain a busy social life. When you have other plans and commitments, you're less likely to dwell on any one person or relationship. You're also less likely to become too invested in someone who may not feel the same way about you. So, if you want to avoid catching feelings, make sure you have plenty of other things going on in your life. Number 7. Don't introduce them to your friends and family If you want to keep things casual, don't introduce your friends and family to your hookup buddy. This will only make things more complicated and could potentially lead to feelings developing. Once you've introduced someone to your inner circle, it's hard to go back to just being a hookup. So, if you want to avoid catching feelings, keep your hookups and your personal life separate. Number 8. Respect each other's boundaries It's important to respect each other's boundaries. This means being clear about what you're comfortable with and what you're not, and making sure that the other person respects your wishes as well. If you're not comfortable with something, speak up. It's okay to say no, and your partner should respect that. If they don't, it's not a healthy situation for you to be in. Be clear about what you want and don't want from the start. This will help avoid any misunderstandings or hurt feelings down the road. And remember, just because you're in a friend with benefits situation doesn't mean you have to do anything you're not comfortable with. You always have the right to say no. Number 9. Don't afraid to be alone. Finally, you should know that you don't need to be in a relationship to be complete. One of the reasons some people are so quick to fall in love is because they are scared to be alone. They've grown up with the idea that in order to be happy and to feel fulfilled, they need someone to be there with them. But if you're afraid to be alone, then you are going to miss out on a big part of life. Many people live their whole lives without another person by their side. They don't realize how many wonderful things they could be doing if they weren't stuck in such a relationship. There is no one definitive guide to not catching feelings, but hopefully these 9 tips have helped give you a starting point. At the end of the day, you know yourself best and you'll be the best judge of what will or won't work for you. So, take some time to experiment and figure out what works best for you. And in the meantime, enjoy being single and feeling carefree. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button for more videos.